Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Ella Quaid. And I'm Michaela Williams. These are your announcements for Tuesday, March 26, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Reminder, this week is Spirit Week. The remaining theme days are Country vs. Country Club, tomorrow, and Class Colors on Thursday. Please dress accordingly. We'll also have our Spring Break Pep Rally on Thursday. There will be a three-point shootout between staff and students, and a dozen prizes will be raffled off. You must be present to win the prizes. Please participate in Spirit Week. Reminder, all new College Credit Plus paperwork is due in the Guidance Office by Thursday, March 28th. This is a mandatory deadline. For students, returning students, you should have received an intent form in class. This is required to participate next year. We have less than 20 of the 85 returned. If you lost the form, print out another form the participating packet. Returning students do not reapply. We just need the intent form. More information about the placement testing will be shared soon. Testing is April 11th during the delayed start. You will need to confirm admission before April 11th. Stop in the guidance office with any questions. Safety Town is looking for responsible Wadsworth youth to help with Safety Town this summer. Safety Town will run for two weeks from July 15th through the 25th. Volunteers may sign up for one session, morning, afternoon, or both. To register, visit wadsworthschools.org, click the Parents and Guardians tab, and then click Kindergarten. Safety Town 2024-2025. Juniors, this is a great opportunity to get your senior volunteer hours. This announcement is for any student wishing to earn the seal of bioliteracy before graduation. If you're a junior or senior in a level three or four language class, or if you speak a language other than English and are interested in pursuing the seal of bioliteracy, the next testing opportunity will be this April. If you're interested in the opportunity, please see Madame Quist, Madame Stratton, Senor Klein, or Senor Tilson in the 2500 hall for an application form. Application forms will be available in the main office. Applications and money will be due Thursday, March 28, 2024. Plan on needing a minimum of two testing dates for completing all four sections of the test. Please see the testing dates on the screen. Thank you. Continuing in the giving spirit, the JOG class is doing a donation drive for Marianne's Closet and Yahab, two charitable organizations that will help individuals within the community by providing them with the basic necessities of living. Marianne's Closet is in desperate need of personal care items such as toothpaste, toothbrushes, shampoo, conditioner, and deodorant. See the flyer on the screen for more options that can be donated or make a monetary donation to the JOG teacher, Miss Eakin. You can also donate gently used clothing items for Yahab. They will accept clothing for children, teens, women, and men. Drop off bags of clothing to the room 2134 throughout the school day. Thank you. Phones for Trees is ready for spring decluttering. As we get closer to spring break, keep in mind that Phones for Trees can recycle used or broken phones, smartwatches, AirPods, headphones, VR headsets, video game consoles, tablets, and laptops. Place these items in one of the bins located near the main office or in the cafeteria. Phones for Trees will then refurbish or responsibly recycle these items and use the proceeds to plant new trees across the globe. Donating or recycling Consumer electronics conserves the natural resources and avoids air and water pollutions, as well as greenhouse gas emissions that are caused by manufacturing new materials. Thank you in advance for any contributions. The International Club is having an event focused on Greece tomorrow during Academic Lab A. Members will eat during B lunch. The meeting will discuss the country and the culture of Greece and will feature Greek food. The meeting will be in Senor Tilson's room, 2509. We hope to see you there. Let's now go to Mason, who asked WHS what their go-to fast food spot is. What's your favorite fast food restaurant and why? Uh, Chick-fil-A, because the fries are good. What's your favorite fast food restaurant and why? Uh, hold on, let me think. <laughs> Chipotle. What is your favorite fast food restaurant? Uh, Popeyes. The fast food, probably McDonald's because it's cheap and you can get a bunch of discounts with the app. Chipotle. It's Mexican. Chipotle. Uh, because the food's really good. Uh, Chick-fil-A. Uh, it's good. McDonald's. Why is it because of their chicken nuggets? They're pretty good. Um, Chipotle probably because it's um, Mexican and I'm a big Mexican fan and uh, it may be expensive but it's really good. Uh, Wendy's because um, it's just better in my opinion. Like it? 
Uh, Chick-fil-A because it's real chicken. Not KFC because I work there. Not Wendy's because I work there. Not Taco Bell because I work there. So probably like McDonald's. Uh, Raising Cane's. You can get it down in Columbus and it's my favorite chicken. Oh, I don't know. Um, Chipotle is not bad. It's really the only one I tolerate. What's your favorite fast food place? Probably Chick-fil-A. What's yours? I don't know if you would consider it fast food, but I would have to say crumble. Today's lunch menu is teriyaki chicken dumplings or hot dog, fried rice, oriental blended vegetables, fruit, and milk. That's all for today's announcements. Have a great day, Grizzlies.